Get your own adorable baby pingy available for pre-order over at Creator Inc. Just like the penguins that came before it, this plushie's design was based off an emote from the stream channel, specifically the baby emote. This round, squishy plushie is freshly hatched from the egg and ready to be your best friend for life. But that's not all. We've also released a brand new t-shirt celebrating 10 years of making videos on YouTube. This anniversary shirt features some of the best moments, games, and characters of the past decade. In Picky Bigwin form, can you recognize all of the Let's Play references? This shirt is available for immediate fulfillment, while the Baby Pinky Plushie is available as a limited time pre-order ending on August 15th. So click the link in the description or check YouTube's merch shelf and order yours before it's too late. Previously on AI the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. This is good. Ah, I'm busting the biggest nut! Ah! See, I told you, big nut bust. And now back to... Who's that girl? What's her name? Is she cool? Is she lame? Oh, you're talking about what's her name? Lisa Key. Is she lame? Is she cool? Is she breaking every rule? Is she anybody's fool? Misa Key. Misa Key. Misa Key. Macha in her own parade. Misa Key. She's like one in a million. Misa Key. Misa Key. Macha go for dumb that day. Catch her if you can. Misa Key. Ooh. Is that a really horny character? No, that's me. Ooh. Who is she and why does she have her own song? Tigley, I had a song too. Misa Key, Misa Key, Macha in her own beret. Misa Key, she's like one in a million. Misa Key, Misa Key, Macha go for Dom Date. No one's cooler than Misa Key. She's her own biggest fan, Misa Key. Catch her if you can, Misa Key. Sneako B! Back with some more AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. When we last left off, it was Gen's turn to get into the Somnium Machine. That's right. As predicted, I had a feel I feel like it was gonna be coming up pretty soon. Gen ended up coming across one of the balloons and for whatever reason withheld the secret from us. So we had to do what we had to do, which was hop into his Somnium and to see all of the messed up stuff that he's been going through for his entire life. Which wasn't really too much that we didn't already know. Essentially, yes, he was bullied pretty much his entire life because of his uh, his deformities that were seemingly because of Jakara genetically mutating him. Or seemingly like he was... I couldn't really figure out if he, if he... He said he was like born from like a genome, right? Like he was actually created. Like, I don't even know if he's necessarily... Was he born from somebody? Or was it like that he was... After he was born... He was then genetically modified. I'm not actually certain. I, I think it's the latter because when Chikara was talking to him, he was literally an adult. But when he said it, I, it kind of made it sound like he was like, oh, I, I grew you in a test tube and, you know, made you into superhuman person. But I also kind of fucked up. You're, you're kind of messed up, like really messed up, actually. But on the bright side, you can take a bullet and like a whole bunch of concrete could land on you. You don't give a fuck. That's pretty cool. But that was fun. It, it was a it was a fun little Sonium. I thought the the cooking contest thing was actually pretty funny. And I thought that it was nice at the end then. And, and, you know, really his biggest focus, right, was trying to make a mommy happy and give her all the love in the world. Because clearly she's going through some shit. But a mommy didn't really want that. What she wanted was for him to love himself. And I thought that was a sweet kind of message to end on. But after finally solving the uh, balloon codes, we learned that, oh my God, it turns out we got to go back to Horridori Institute, which is, I feel like a little bit like, we already kind of knew and heard about this secret passageway thing. I just feel like this is like Tara being like, dude, what, you haven't found this place yet? Did you hear about it like five times already? Like seriously, just go there. Just just look for it. Stop attacking the guards. Just just look for it. God, can I do everything myself? Jesus. So we went there with Leanne and we found, of course, the sicker passageway and also Tukigo's dead lifeless corpse. So seemingly this was the place where these bodies were cut in half. And I guess, I, I don't know if Tokyo was just like on refrigeration or something. She's been sitting there that whole time. But according to Aiba, she had died only within the past few hours. So that's interesting. And now further beyond that, we have arrived here in this lovely room where someone has clearly been spending a lot of their time and clearly working out too, because we got some weights and freaking punching bags and shit like that. I have a distinct feel we're we'll gonna be coming across some, uh, perhaps some big revelations uh, in this room. 
But anyway, last episode, uh, JC said, in regards to when uh, Gen was giving uh, Amame the uh, food in his Somnium, he goes, nope, it's alligator. Nagi phasing to existence. Did someone say alligator? Give me that gitter, me boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is what really got me. It's like, ah, yes, alligator. I actually saw a few people, I think I made that joke. Like, ah, yes, alligator meat. You know, that's... That's the only thing that y'all amped up and shit, but I think it's just the fact that give me that alligator meat, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love crazy hangry Nagi. My shit fills me with life. Rindo and the whole squad are all fucked up. And Nagi's just so fucking happy over that goddamn gator. God bless you, Nagi. God bless you. I hope she shows up in this game somehow. I don't know why he will, she would, but she should. I think she just show up in every game. I love Nagi. But JC, thank you so much for Making me laugh a lot with that comment. And it's for that reason you are comment of the day. All right. So, yes, the other thing, probably the most prevalent, though, comment of the last episode. Good Lord, there must have been like, I swear to God, like 20 comments that mentioned this. And it was all about, I was like, why did so uh, his little eyeball -y have a, a jar around him? And everybody reminded me, that's right. Yes, he was chopped to pieces by Saito in the last game and put in a big urn. Right. <laughs> I, I forgot. I forgot, but I, I won't forget now. Everyone's told me many, many times now. Definitely a pretty dark reference there for, for so. We could have just put him in like a kimono or something looking very political or like, nah, fuck it. Fuck so, right? He's in an urn. Technically, that didn't even happen in this room, but ah, whatever, you know, fucking timelines and shit, me, you know. Also, do you see some of you guys say that apparently in other Let's Plays this game, some people really actually got stuck in that room where it's like pitch black and you have to look for the notebook and like kept running into the guards like again and again and again because they keep like cycling through. I didn't think it was that hard to find the book. It seemed like, I mean, I think if, if the book was like far at the other end of the room or something and I had to find it, yeah, it would have been pr pretty annoying. But fortunately it was like, dude, just like literally just to my right and it seemed pretty obvious to me. So I'm kind of surprised by that a little bit, but I did, it did seem like, yeah, if you take too much time in there, it is going to get annoying because the guards just keep looping back around again. But all right. So we have found ourselves into this creepy room. Um, before we get into the, the deets of it, we got to do our usual thing, right? Let's check our Tamagotchi. What are we going for again? Oh yeah, we're going for loving. What do you like of shrimp? Tasty, hard, red, hard to eat. Loving tasty? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right, there's the fucking iris. And it doesn't actually matter what I do now because whatever I get will be something new. All right, let's get our uh, tips from uh, Classy Iba here. Oh, you actually have a new outfit for her too. Once in a while. Shop Iba. Hmm, what to eat today? What to eat today? It is about time you had a proper meal. Yes, you should eat some rice. You go eat some rice. <laughs> How many inter these interactions have they done? Like, there's some really, like, random ones, like... Man, I really could go for a cheeseburger right now. Yes, I too could go for a cheeseburger right now. Man, I really want to fucking slap Dante in his stupid face. Yes, I also would like to slap Dante in his stupid face. Damn, I'm the only one who noticed that Gen's got a rock-hard ass. I was like, you're damn right, girl. Woo, them fucking, them glutes, baby, woo. I don't know, I'm just saying I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the variety. I don't think I've come across a single, like, repeat one, which is kind of amazing. Anyway, I got a few more outfits. So, Wonder Hat. Well, when you're hungry. I think that's a reference to that uh, character again from, what is it, like the mystery dungeon thingy? I do like the hat on her. Uh, okay, and body. Why is Tama a humanoid shape? Oh, that's funny. Oh, I see. It's a weird feeling to be on a shoulder. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. Why is Tama a humanoid shape? That's just true. Yeah, she is way more humanoid than uh, Chibi Aiba. Yeah, Aiba looks more like a Monokuma bear, Why which I'm sure Tama is intentional. Tama shape? literally has tits on her little uh, chibi form. But this makes sense. I mean, I, I think this is this gets a little too gets a little too uh, uh, meta here. I think we gotta have the, I gotta have Tama here. Yeah, that's that's good. That's a nice accessory. I like that. Now I'm talking to both of you. Okay, let's uh, have a look around this room. Training equipment. Vent. That's the only vent. It is safe to assume the average human could not enter or exit through there. Unless they were a child. Maybe. Non-functioning PC. A PC. I tried messing with it, but nothing happened. Poster. Text on them looks pretty practically random. It'll take a while to decode this mess. 
It's a desk. There are thick books on it that look a lot difficult to read. Tub? Uh, it's a shower and a bathtub. It looks really old. Punching bag. It's been used quite a lot. Probably imagining the person who trapped them down here. At least I assume they've been trapped down here. I think I want to willingly want to stay here. Okay. Below. Behold. This is nice. The Nanyapal X symbol. No, Mizuki, this is nice. Really, Iba? Look, come on, that was funny. A shady looking computer. Iba, can you take a look? On it. Internal data has been analyzed. Mizuki, take a look at this. Check out all the hentai on this. Is this? Holy mother of God. It is the Nirvana trial video. And fucking Adobe Premiere, like <laughs> some version of it. There are backups and working files on this computer as well. Boot like Adobe Premiere. It seems as though that video was produced here. And one more thing. There was some unedited QR footage as well. But that means yes. The QR video and the Nirvana trial video were both created on this computer. I see a nice shiny notebook. Uh, let's look at all the other stuff around it first. Is that a sledgehammer? Can't examine it. Sink? It's a stainless steel sink. It's really dirty. Uh, ooh. It's all preserved food inside. The production dates are recent. Someone must have been here not long ago. Mmm, okay. Yeah, but why is this stuff in here? It shouldn't need to be cooled. This refrigerator is broken. The cooling function is not operable. Ah, this just basically a shelf at this point. So this was just being used as a storage box. That seems to be the case. Hmm. What the fuck? Oh no. You've seen this before? Oh yeah, it's the... Of course. How could I forget? The fucking bomb. This is what caused my left eye. And Kizzy. It is a thermite bomb. Six years ago, a thermite reaction caused Jin Furroway's right half to burn. I know. I read the report. Basically, a miniature version of this was set in the body, right? Correct. Hmm. A whole bunch of shit here. Shelves is filled with what looks like drugs and other stuff. Mmm, drugs, yummy. What the hell? It's a locker. Mysterious pattern is drawn on it. Two lockers as well. Mmm. Are these like coded names or something? Or maybe they're for like, yeah, maybe they're meant to indicate some kind of like, like this is for the fucking th thermite and this is for the cocaine. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's look at the big shiny notebook here. What is this? I turn the page. This is what was written there. I've been here for ages. I'm trapped here suffering. It's all their fault. They took so much from me. They used my creation without permission. And I'll never forgive them for it. Just writing about it makes me furious. I want to kill them. It's a diary. There aren't daily entries, but it seems like the person who lived here wrote it. There might be some clues to the case. Let's keep reading. Unlike them, mom is really nice. She's taught me a lot of things. Nice is wonderful. Is mom Tokiko? This world is a lie. These things happening to me are a lie. Is this actually literally Tokiko's daughter? That I know they said she died, right? They said she died, but maybe she didn't die. Maybe she got trapped down here. Mom said that she's going to tell the truth to everyone. I want to help mom. I love mom, but why are you nice to him, mom? Jakara, I hate him. He needs to pay. It continues. There is a date here. This is from six years ago. February 9th. He came this morning. I thought he was here to mock me. He always picks on me, but he said that's not why he was here. He said he wanted to apologize. I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I heard, I've heard him say it a million times. Things turned red all of a sudden. Next thing I knew, he was on the ground. I threw him on the ground. I think I hit him. He was bleeding from the mouth and unconscious. I thought this was my chance. I knew how to get the machine out. He basically taught me everything. Took the machine out, set the body in, up oh, to be split in half alive. Wouldn't that have been in the autopsy report for Jakara? Like he was missing a tooth then? If he was the one that literally got like fucking punched. Wait, did they say he was missing a tooth? He said he was bleeding from the mouth. That doesn't necessarily, that doesn't necessarily the same person that they got their tooth knocked out though, I, I guess. I don't know. This description, it is similar to what we reenacted earlier in the room next door. Oh, no, okay, yeah. 
There it is. So the person writing in this diary was X, and he is probably T. He got his tooth knocked out. I think it's Shikara, right? As I looked at his dead body, I thought to myself, if I use this, I can help mom. I've been playing this for a long time, but when I saw that body, the light came on. The intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the seam can occur. By creating that, the people of this world, Moksha, Moksha, February 10th. Early morning, I went to go see mom. I told her about my plan. Uh, she agreed. She even said I can use her money. This has got to work. Ah, mom, you're so kind, but Tokyo's going to get cut in half, right? The Nirvana Initiative. I'm going to make it a reality. I decided to proceed with the plan. I thought of a new name for myself. My name is Terror. I will start my new life with this, my new life with this new hall, new name. Okay. How ironic. The only thing I needed was being created in this very facility. The TC Purge, such a wonderful virus. But I was told it was still imperfect. More time was needed. No need to rush or be rash. I decided to wait with mom. Fortunately, there are tons of nice members along uh, among the researchers. When I told them about the plan, they happily obliged. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be so much fun. February 11th. Someone interfered. I put it there, but it was gone. Insufferable ingrate. No mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy. I'll find you and I'll kill you. February 12th. I found you, filthy thief. February 13th. I cut the thief in half and set it up. Your fault. Don't give it back. The undoing is done. I can finally relax. February 13th. The thief cut in half. The thief must be... Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. So... Ah, Kameji. I guess it... Is Tokyo Tokyo wouldn't be mom then, right? Because already Chikara got split in half. Why is Tokyo split in half? She didn't she didn't say, oh yeah, cut me in half too. I told mom and she was happy about it. Because she died on the twelfth. I found you, filthy thief. Uh well he talks about mom, right? But our plan. She agreed and said I could use the mo her money. This has gotta work. Oh mom, you're so kind. So who killed Tokiko then? Was it not? Terror then? Was it her? Did she kill herself? So it sounds like Terror killed Kameji and he killed Chikara. But what and also Jin Fur Jin is not mentioned here either. That sounds like maybe Chikara did that. So who the fuck killed Tokiko? Her did she do it her, to herself? That's the only thing I could think of. I met the person of my destiny. What? Person of my destiny? Destiny! The diary ends on 213. Son of a bitch. It's all from six years ago. So the diary ends there. Anyway, we now understand. The person that was being held here is the culprit of the HB case. Terror. If we wait here, will they come back? I do not believe they will. Once they reach the stairs, they will know someone intruded. And we'll try to get rid of said intruders. If they did, a certain someone would be gotten rid of first. Yeah, whatever. Fuck Leon. Leon, we need to get back there now. Probably take the book with us. Just saying. Yeah, whatever. A base HQ, February 13th, Wednesday, Wednesday 9.30. Back in the office. About last night. Sorry, but I don't want to get involved. I'm going home. Leon left Horidori Institute. I waited at the Institute until the investigation crew came. When they got there, I continued to investigate the place. Now I'm here at Abyss HQ. Why does boss look so pissed? Wow, you really outdid yourself, sneaking in without a warrant. Yeah, but whatever. Come on, we do this shit all the time, right? Ugh. Um, I'm sorry, boss. Iba, you need to keep an eye on her. <laughs> I see what you did there, bro. Shut up! I'm so sorry. I am functioning just fine as Mizuki's left eye. I should be rewarded for the work I did last night. Yeah, I wouldn't have found that room without Iba. <sighs> True. What you found was worth bending the rules a little. But this should still warrant a punishment, you know? Boss, I suggest leniency. Mizuki had a strong, personal reason for wanting to search Horidori Institute. The gene therapy? Boss, you knew? Who do you think I am? I know my subordinates so well, I could tell you how many moles they have from memory. So, 
Did you know that Daddy and Mom weren't my real parents? Yeah. Hmm? What is it? Oh, I was just... thinking about something. Something Mom told me once. You! Ah! I wish you had never been born! I was thinking about that. Thanks, Shoko. Good to see you again. Do you think she meant to say I wish we never adopted you? Oh man, this is so sad. Let's go ahead and look at all the funny shit in the room. So there's anything funny in here. Why well, is trees wobbling? It's kind of freaking me out. Why does it look like that? It's the AC blowing like right on it or whatever. Oh shit, there actually might not be anything funny in here. What about you, Mario? Don't you hate it how at beauty salons, they make you sit in front of the mirror after getting your head shampooed? Yeah, like what the fuck? That might be the only thing in here. It's just she was like, all right, maybe this would be the best time to have like hilarious, goofy, uh, funny dialogue for everything. But at the very least, we can have Mario talk to you. I appreciate that, all right? I always do enjoy hearing what Mario has to say about life and, you know, what's happening with him. Because it shouldn't always be about me and my problems. Mario's got it tough, all right? He's forced to stand there all day staring at boss's ass. Actually, this sounds pretty great. What the hell am I talking about? All right, boss. Boss, you get along with your daughter. Let's just, let's just talk about your daughter randomly, you know? I'm sure she's going to have absolutely no part in this main story in any way. Well, we're not blood-related either. She's adopted? Yeah, but we get along well. That's nice. I'm kind of jealous. Adopted, you say? Oh my god. Everybody's fucking adopt adopted in this game. Seriously. How many adopted ki kids have we fucking seen at this point? Or just er kids, adults, uh, whatever. Some families run deeper than blood. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But I didn't even get along. You have other relationships, right? Mizuki. You do have a lot of friends. And most importantly, a boss who's reliable and kind. Kind? I am kind. If an elderly woman was trying to cross the street, I'd stop cars for her. You could also carry her. Thanks, you too. Hold on, guys. I gotta check my Tamagotchi. What ability you have? Telepathy, time control, x-ray vision, future sight. That's fucking brave, bro. About nice. Okay, I'll give you the rundown. Six years ago, after the incident at the cathedral, the armed vigilantes scurried under whatever rocks they could find across the country. <laughs> we could find absolutely none of them. All like three hundred of the people you do you fought in the in the cathedral. Yep, all gone. We're really just really great at our jobs. Their group was forced underground. It is thought that they are still active, despite our investigations yielding little results. And, of course, we interrogated everyone we caught as hard as we legally could. We got a search warrant for Nice, looked through all their documents. But we could not find any incriminating evidence. Just a whole bunch of weird shit. Weird stuff, like Tokyo was singing happy birthday to herself. That's why Nice is still kicking today. They are as cunning as they are ruthless. About the blood. Ah, oh, right. Regarding the blood around the slicer, we tested it for DNA matches. Jin Furaway. Chikara Horidori, Yonaharu Enda, aka Andy's Komeji, Tokiko Shigure, and one more. One more? Yeah, five different DNA. But we don't know who the fifth person was. Ooh, really? Which means there might be another yet undiscovered victim. Dun dun dun. Oh no. Ah, fuck me. Terror's Diary. I read it too. There's a ton we can get from it. But the most intriguing thing is the Nirvana Initiative. How are the HB case and that plan related? There is still much we do not understand. We do not know who Terror is and why they were imprisoned there. Anyway, I'm gonna go do some investigating. I have a distinct feeling that, that Terror's gonna be Uru. The, the kid that got, like, abducted, like, or, well, no, I don't know if they were abducted. They disappeared many years ago, right? But seemingly was maybe abducted by Shikara and has been locked away down there. And has been helping Shikara do some dank shit for all these, these stupid years. Wait, you haven't gotten any sleep. You should rest first. You're kidding, aren't you? That look in your eyes is telling me to keep fighting through it. <laughs> You know me very well, Mizuki. That's right, sack up, Mizuki! Where do you plan to go? Well, let's see. Uh, everywhere again! I think I want to start by talking to Lian. Maybe there was something he noticed that I overlooked. 
And next, Shoma. Yeah, we still haven't seen that little asshole. I haven't been able to ask him about the one-wheeled robot yet. And then Mame. I think Mame knows something about the Nirvana Initiative. I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Nirvana Initiative. Understood. I have confirmed their locations. Leon is at Iowen, Shoma is at home, and Amame is at Brahmin. Cool! I guess Shoma turned his phone back on. That's true, actually. He's, he went hiking, right? I guess back. I want to gather more information, too. I've got to go to Lemniscate, Devita, and Marble. Just because! We gotta go talk to receptionists. Son. Understood. Let's get going. Don't push yourself too hard, Mizuki. Shut up, boss. Sir, yes, sir. Understood. Push myself as hard as I fucking want. Alright, let's fucking go. <laughs> I'm gonna go all these other places because we just we gotta have other places to go, right? We can't just have like fucking three. What are you what are you high? No, we gotta go to three hundred places. Alright, let's go see Shoma. I wonder what he looks like. Get on the moped. Go. Go, Mizuki. Ah, go to the turbo! <laughs> February 13th, Wednesday, and our residence. Uh Katatsu's during the winter are the best. Does he look any different? I don't know anyone who would use them during the summer. Uh, hey, Mizuki. What? He doesn't look any different? Can you not barge into my place and use my kotatsu? What? Are you... He looks no different. They didn't change his design in any... I mean... I mean, I get it, like... Yeah, he doesn't have to look different, but, like, he doesn't look any older either, right? And, I mean, Mizuki looks way different and way, and definitely looks older than she did. This is weird. Okay, very weird. That's just, yeah, it's just Shoma again. Fucking, <laughs> I'm disappointed, I'm sorry. I, I'm actually really kind of baffled by this. What? It's nothing. I wanted to ask something. Do you have time right now? Shouldn't you have asked that at the front door? It's the Katatsu's fault for being here. Katatsu, bad girl. This Mizuki is also, was that what Mizuki was thinking too? Like, why do you look any different? Just can't be found that robot. Do you know Nyes? How are you? Oh, can't you tell? I can't tell by looking, which is why I'm asking. Sometimes I talk to you thinking you're down, but you're doing well. Other times I think you're in a good mood, but you're not. Well, I'm normal. I'm not, like, having fun or anything. That's the Shoma I know. What? <laughs> You're weird. Doesn't sound any older either. His voice, apparently his voice just stayed the same kind of high pitch. He's young at heart, and also body. All right, don't mind me showing I'm gonna jump in your brain. I'm still not over it, you know. I'll show them justice. Uh-oh. Shoma. Yeah, show them goddamn justice. That's right. Fucking vigilante. Take matters into your own hands. All right, let's look around the room then. Wearing a backpack with a t-shirt on makes the back of the shirt right up. Ah, I'm all right. That doll talks, huh? Yeah, but I didn't make it. I just bought one that could talk. Came in the same shop that Mario was at. Mizuki, quick. Get your breasts out and dance. Okay. Why? What? Oh, no, it's nothing. I was just thinking about taking my breasts out and waving them around in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny laugh. Iba, can you make a funny face? Why? Just do it. Okay, fine. How's this? That's totally normal. I can't help it. There's not much I can do in this form. Can I make a sound? Can I go, Mah! <laughs> I think it's just me that wants that. You're not doing anything under the kotatsu, are you? Yeah, I'm jerking one out! I mean, what? No! What? Sorry, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Impish Iba. Shoma, question time. Here we go. Donna. Preschool, elementary schooler, adult. Which one is the biggest? Which one's big? Um... The adult? Nope. Preschool. A preschool is a building. The other two are people. You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> I can also do an impish laugh. Do it again. Adderuster! 
Oh, no comment, really? Oh. I thought I was gonna geek out for a second. Like, you got Adderus, you got my fucking Adderai, but we should hang out more. Ah, uh, if Talma were here, she'd talk about how the kitchen is erotic, and that broom is erotic, and Adder Rooster's erob erotic. Katatsu's erotic, Klaus is erotic, that guy's erotic. So much erotic shit. Erotic. Erotic! Gotta miss Tama and her giant tits. <laughs> anyway, Shoma, how are you doing? Oh, this? After coming back from camping, I found that the one I made earlier was missing. So I'm making a new one. It went missing. Was it stolen? I don't know. But it's not like it's gonna move on its own. So I'm guessing it was taken. <laughs> it just moved out. I don't know who would go through the trouble. How many people knew about the robot? Only people close to me. Ah, well... I did show that Ryuki guy when he came to question me. Ryuki? It does not seem like Shoma is lying. Yeah, Ryuki knew about that shit fucking six years ago. He most likely has no idea that the robot was used at the stadium. Shoma, I hope you know that your that your robot friend fucking killed somebody, okay? Just like you killed your dad. Do you know about Nice? Yeah, of course I know. Because... Uh... I used to be a member. What? It was a while back. I'm not with them anymore. I'd say I went through a nice character arc and really bonded with my father, but that was in another room. Not in this one, though. But you know about Nyes pretty well, then. I guess so. I know about their philosophy. Was camping fun? It's a change of pace. I don't have good memories of this season. I came back, and there was a ton of commotion with what happened. Is that why you're here, Mizuki? I guess you could say that. Yeah, the bright side, Shoma, and probably uh, not too long from now, we're gonna find your dad, the other half of your dad's, dad's dead body. I know you probably wonder where the hell that thing went. That I don't know too well. I know the Nirvana trial, the video. I can you ask Shoma about knives, but he knew nothing more than I already knew. This is a very fulfilling conversation, Shoma. Aiba, have you noticed anything off with Shoma? I do not believe he is lying about anything, and his appearance does not tell me anything. It's good that he wasn't caught up in all this mess. But why was Shoma's robot used to carry Jin's left half? That is still unknown. We still don't know if it actually was his robot, right? True, but... Hey, Mizuki, can I ask you a question? Six years ago, Jin Furaway's right half went up in flames out of nowhere, right? Did you ever find out how it was done? Oh, well, the body had a small thermite bomb inside it. It was set up so the bomb detonated on a timer. I see. Why do you ask? No reason. Aren't you on the clock right now? You're gonna get scolded if your boss finds out. Shut up, Shoma. Ugh. Shoma is right. You need to work like a breeding horse to keep boss off your back. What? You need to work like a draft horse. I thought I heard something else. Breeding horse! He, he has to change this the first time I met him. I don't know. I'm a little, I am a little kind of like baffled by that. It, it feels lazy, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I feel like they were just like, fuck it. I, I, we're not going to redo Shoma. Maybe he doesn't have much to do in the in this flash four. Maybe that's what he's going to be. Like, we're already seeing that he has almost no like ties to the actual robot here that seemed to move the body, right? So maybe it's just like, they're like, fuck it. He's going to be here for two seconds. Who gives a shit? We're not updating his stupid fucking model for like, like the two scenes he's in. Which, you know, in that case, yeah, I could kind of maybe get it. But it still feels kind of unusual. He's like, I already, we already went through my fucking Somnium, right? What are you gonna do, Somnium me again? I mean, technically, you did last game with Iris, but fuck it. Fuck Iris. Fuck Iris and fuck you. Where is Leah? He's right there. You just, you looked right past him, Mizuki. Where could he be? I don't, I don't know. Oh, there he is. I don't know. Leah, where'd you go? Leah? 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 <laughs> Mizuki, are you okay? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, Mizuki, okay, sorry. Hey, Mizuki, something is wrong. Huh? <gasps> also, Kisa's there. You do not have to worry about it. I can do this on my own. Sorry, Kizzy. I didn't mean to upset you. I'll head home. That's right. Leave, Lee, and leave. But if there's anything you need, just call me, okay? I'll fly right over. Are you pitying me? Do you pity me, you sack of shit? What? On that day six years ago, I became disabled. I used to love dancing, but I can never dance again. You apologized so many times. 
You said you were sorry you couldn't protect me. That must be why you stay by my side. I have burdened you with that guilt. Am I right, Leon? Yes. No! Kizzy, I... Get out of my sight. Ugh. What are you doing? Putting an end to this. Man, fuck this! <sighs> Mizuki. Big sis. Hello. I am here to make things that are already awkward more awkward. But first, look at that tree. And this thing. And this random kid over here that I can't examine. Look at the swing set. Man, it's a beautiful day today, isn't it, guys? Look, it's a building. And an orange lady. And a flower bed. And a spring play set. And some logs. I don't think you guys are paying attention to all the cool stuff I'm looking at. I think you're just focused on your your stuff and your stupid problems. Can I wink sync any of you? Kizzy. Leon, what's wrong? Uh, I, uh, made Kizzy upset. She said that I'm only with her because I feel guilty. I told her that's not true, but I guess words aren't enough. I apologize. I wish you hadn't seen that. Mizuki, have you forgotten why we are here? We are here to ask Lian about yesterday. That can wait. I can't just leave these two like this. I want to see them get along. How? Well... It is hard to fix what has been broken. The arrow of time only moves in one direction. Yeah, arrows. Wait, what did you say? The arrow of time? That's it! The time capsule from six years ago! If we could dig that up... Oh my god! What are the odds? Huh? It's been exactly? exactly six years, and we all forgot about it, I guess. Where are you going? Shoes. I think it was around here somewhere. Mizuki just rips the fucking tree out of the ground, fucking grabs it. All right. Mizuki, in that case... I served the metal case that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't see the X right there. There it is! Indeed. Lian, can you go grab a shovel? Well, that was out of nowhere. You gonna bury a dead body or something? Yeah, yours. Fucking die, Leon. Bam. That's what you get for getting a weird, shitty, creepy introduction and being an all-around, all-right human being. No, I'm going to dig something up. A dead body? No, the time capsule. Time. Capsule. It was so long ago. You guys, really don't remember this. We were so young then. <sighs> the shoes are still in good condition. I don't know why I forgot this. This shit cost me like three thousand dollars. The letters too. Why don't you read it? Uh, right now? Yeah. Do you want to bury it for another six years? <sighs> okay then. Roses are red, violets are blue. I. I think you're swell, Kizuna, and so are you. Listen, I wasn't very good at writing poetry. Okay. What's wrong? This is kind of embarrassing. Just do it. Do it! To Kizzy. I love you, Kizzy. I really, really, <laughs> really, really love you. <laughs> when I first saw you, I seriously thought an angel descended from heaven. I was thunderstruck. At that moment, <laughs> I decided to devote my life to you. I thought I thought that was going to be it. I love you, Kizzy. I really, really, really love you. Like, I really, 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 really love you. Like, really, 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 really. The glass slippers that I put in the capsule are a symbol of my never-ending love for you. I know I only met you two hours before I put this in the ground, but that doesn't matter to me. To me, six years in the future. I'll never forgive you if you make Kizzy cry. I'm gonna fly to you and punch your stupid face. Whatever happens, always be by her side. When she's struggling or in pain, support her with everything you got. Even if your feelings aren't reciprocated, make sure she's always smiling. Make sure you dedicate your life to her happiness. Yeah. That is my request to you. You're up next, Kizzy. Here. But, but. No buts, read. Fine. To me, six years from now, how do you truly feel toward him? 
Wait, she actually wrote something too? I didn't remember that part. I still do not know exactly how to feel about him. But no matter how I might feel in the future, the most important thing is to be true to yourself. It is not becoming of me to play games with a man's heart. If you think no, you need to tell him no. It would be better for him. But if you do have feelings for him... Still say no to him, because remember, we're a creepo at the start. Just saying. Girl? Girl. I'm sorry, Leon. Sorry? Is that a rejection? No, I meant about earlier. I took out my frustration on you, and I am sorry for that. I should not be placing my anger on people I care about. If it is acceptable to you, if you do not mind that I am the way I am. Leon, will you? Uh. <laughs> Look on Leon's face. Uh. Kizzy, it's like I said before. Six years have gone by, but my feelings haven't changed. My love is eternally undying. Yeah. I myself have changed. What do you mean? My feelings have changed over the last six years. I really used to hate you. Like, I thought you were just the weirdest fucking dude I've ever met in my entire life. And I, I don't know why I said the six year thing. I think I was just trying to distract you long enough to call the police. But unfortunately, I, I misdialed and I called the Domino's and I got like 20 pizzas that day. And it was fucking weird. It was so awkward. God. Ah. Oh. And then I forgot what I was doing. And then I just let you hang out for like six years. And now we're here. Leon, I... I love you. Oh my god. You are my Prince Charming. Kizzy. Kizzy. Oh, oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm Sorry. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Fucking persistence works! Endless persistence, even if they seem weird out and say no! Fucking let's go! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What the fucking reaction? <laughs> yeah, well, at this point, you guys know my feelings on this, so yeah. But like I said, I'm not surprised at all this happened. I saw Mizuki, it. Mizuki, why are you here anyway? I, I saw it coming literally the moment he declared his love for her at the start. I'm like, I know exactly how this is gonna go. Oh, right. Great, Lane's all fucking hot and horny now. I gotta get out of here. Asked Lane if I had overlooked anything from last night. He quickly told me that I had. Why did we even come here? I don't know. It's fine. We made them happy. I think we all learned something today. And the most important thing is my Tamagotchi needs me. What kind of music do you like? Industrial Symphonic Grindcore Death Metal. Grindcore. Sure. Anyway, I'd, I'd like to introduce you guys to my Tamagotchi. I'm glad. Totally. Thank you, Mizuki. The day started with seeing all those awful things. Kizzy was on the brink of hating me. It could have been the worst day of my life, but now it's become the best day of my life. Actually, it's, it was both the worst day of my life and the best day of my life, so they kind of kissed each other out, so it's just kind of a day now. Oh, you mean because we were in Horidori Institute past midnight? And found a fucking dead body? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that too. That too? Iba, can I wink sink into Leon? I will not protest, but why? I got a feeling. I think Leon is hiding something. Hmm. What? Why are you striking a JoJo pose? Hey, is this for real? Why are you surprised? You didn't know? Well, I guess that makes sense. If you knew, you wouldn't have asked me to open the lock and see what's inside. What did all that mean? Unknown. Leon must have seen something that shocked him. Or someone. That must be what he was referring to earlier. Hmm. It's good that the problem was solved and we all learned something today. Thank you. It is all thanks to you, Big Sis. But... I do not know how father is going to take this news. Oh, I hate him. I'll never be good enough for you, Kizzy. Oh, so says me, Mr. Peter Smith. That is my only concern. But I am an adult now. I will solve this on my own. Yeah, you'll get over him. You're just on your period. 
start. I'm just quoting Mr. Pierce for Family Guy, okay? I'm gonna get going now. Sorry, that's it. <laughs> He's such a... I don't know if anyone watches Family Guy or seen it. I just... I just... I, I kind of like him, though, in the show. He's so stupid. He's such a stupid character, but he says some funny shit sometimes. I like, I like the voice that Seth, uh, Seth MacFarlane gives him. I wish both of you eternal happiness. S stop it, Big Sis. I'm gonna make Kizzy the happiest girl in the world. No. The whole universe. Leon. <laughs> Mizuki. What do you want to do about Leon? I say we kill him. About the wink sink? I mean, it is concerning, but... Leon, it's time to go in the Somni machine! I think we should focus on our investigation. We're probably the next one, Leon. Don't worry, I'm coming back for you, motherfucker. Understood. Let us proceed to the next location. I'm gonna shoot you right in the dick, Leon. Look at, look at Leon. Look at, look at his cocky ass mouth. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna get some tonight. Yeah! My horny antics have finally paid off! Yeah! Alright, let's go to Brown. I think a mommy might be here every single day. Getting back to stir in his pot. Again, you're not all out of bent out of shape that I like chloroformed you and took you to some weird place that jumped in your brain. So what are you here for today, Mizuki? I'm here to chloroform you again. Oh, I wanted to talk to Mame. We're kind of busy right now, so can you make it quick? Oh, I'm not here for you, Getty. I meant Amame is busy. Genny, are you mad about something? No, not at all. You seem a little mad. As you can see, I'm all smiles as usual. See, look at my face. Look at it. Okay. I think you might be pissed about it, actually. So, Mame, can we talk for a little bit? Oh, um, yeah. Let's talk about Ganesha again. Oh, uh, I'm not finding anything funny. So let's talk again. Why are you in a bad mood? Like I said, I'm fine. I'm just focusing on work, that's all. About the Nirvana Initiative. What is that? I've never even heard of it. About nice. Uh, I've heard about some group like that, yeah. But I don't really know anything about it. Oridori. You asked me that like you were asking for a glass of water. That facility. It's a really touchy subject for me. It's not something I want to casually discuss here. If you really want to know, at least wait until after work. He seems a little mean today. He can't really tell tell with his mask on. She, Mama still doesn't look like she's doing great. About the Nirvana, and, or actually, let's, actually let's start with, are you not feeling well? Yeah, I haven't really been doing well recently, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. About Nirvana initiative. Sorry, but like I said before, I don't really know any of the details. I just looked it up online. Nice. I know the name. I saw it on some occult website, but I don't know anything more than that. Horidori? Horidori Institute. What's that? I'm not familiar. You know what? I feel like... Mizuki, take a look at this. I feel like the investigations in this game in between Insomniums honestly don't really ever give me anything <laughs> like or like much of anything hell i would almost say that the somniums themselves i feel like don't even necessarily give me much of anything except for like a deeper look into the character themselves and not necessarily like the actual mystery like legitimately i think the moment that we came across that fucking room was easily the biggest like oh finally we're getting information right i mean like we ran into terror a few times and then like random on the underground spot. But I, I sort of got, we have been getting like so little information about like the main story elements here that like, just like an absolute trickle that if it really feels like, dude, I don't know. I feel like sometimes we're just sitting in place, spinning our wheels and not going anywhere. Mommy, not just her, Gen as well. Look how hot he is. What do you think? They are both hiding something. Guess they leave us no choice. Let's have a look. Yes. Uh, guess I have to pick and choose here. So again here. Sorry, Kenny. I shouldn't have told you. It's okay, Amame. It's probably the exact same one then. I made an oath. I will protect you with my life. So don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. Interesting. Amame must have told Gen something very important. 
Perhaps a secret. That we conveniently can never seem to see in these fucking weak sinks. Oh, I can't do both. Hold on. I require charging between wink sinks. Can't we use the backup? You mean like I did for Kizuna and Lian? Yeah. Those were special circumstances. Do it again. Come on, just do it. Ah, <sighs> fine. But I did warn you. <sighs> what do I do? I have to obey. I... I... Help me, Dad. You're watching from heaven, right? So please... Obey? She also mentioned her father. Watching from heaven. Right. About your dad. Um, Mame, this might be a touchy subject, but your dad, is he deceased? Yes. Six years ago. What? Six years ago. So that is the situation. Uh, is your dad Jin Furway? It's the only person, I mean, it's not gonna be, unless, unless it's fucking Jakara too, which maybe she, maybe it is. Uh, not to care, I doubt Kameji. I have a feeling it might be Jin Furway. So, I mean, is, I think we're already seeing some ties to Jakara as well, so I don't know, maybe. Maybe it could be him. Would that make her the illegitimate child, though? Or a illegitimate child? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. The two of them are hiding something important. Indeed. Oh, by the way, this is all your fault. Huh? I am out of battery. Hey, wait! Aiba! Aiba! Dead. Oh, I need to head to work now. Huh? And I need to go shopping. I'm low on ingredients. Wait. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good luck. Ugh. What is going on? So quiet suddenly. It's all right. I'll charge you on my, on my moped, Iba. All right. Back to receptionist son. Iris and Oda. He still looks like a banana. Do, do, do. Mizuki, kiss me. Ah. What? Kiss me, Mizuki. No. I just realized this. Yeah. Kiss me, Mizuki is a palindrome. No, it isn't. Hey, didn't think the president herself would show up. Yeah, I'm not here for work today. Investigating the case? No, I'm here to kill Oda. Yeah, I'm doing some questioning. Based on Lemnus Gate's schedule, I knew Iris would be here, so I wanted to come talk. But also, there's this guy over here that looks different from everybody. Okay, can I wing sync? Yeah, I can wing sync everybody and also receptionist son. God damn it. All right, this, this is going to be a long one. All right. Hey, dude. Yeah. What? The Anemone aliens are attacking? This isn't good. We need a Mr. Bear. Vroom, vroom. Hurry. We need to fly to Yosemite National Park! Fly! Boom! Boom! Pepperoncino! Woo! I like this guy. Let's pretend we didn't see any of that. Yeah. Oh, well, that was totally normal. All right, are Oda and Iris, are you both thinking about the same thing again? Gas, 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 I love gas. It totally is. I love gas, city gas, propane, asparagus. All right, say the exact same thing, Iris. Twirly, twirly. No, oh, not the same. Twirly, twirly. Ugh, my head is spinning. All right, now for the most important character in the game. Oh, then you must want a little puff puff, huh? Yeah. Oh, fuck it, Jesus Christ. Look, that arm there, a bolt? I'll do it, if you get my riddle right. Oh my god. What's it called when you get a little penetration and it hurts at first, but then it makes you feel all nice and woozy? Fucking! Fucking! Eh, wrong! The answer is donating blood. <laughs> oh, you're such a silly Billy! You thought it was gonna be the sex thing, but it actually wasn't! <laughs> oh, I see. Um, hello! Oh, Perez. 
you look cute today. Cutest in the whole wide world. Can I go to Tommy with you with, with Mizuki? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Can you raise my salary? Nah. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Dick slut. Um, Are you trying to seduce me into going to a Tommy with you? Yeah, we am, girl. Let's do it. No. Why not? Oh. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. I but don't lie to me. Look. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. A receptionist with huge breasts is sitting. The big titty receptionist. Big titty. Titty. There are big titties sitting behind the desk. Are you malfunctioning? Titties. Of course. I always give it my hundo percent. Like when one of those big shot producer guys comes in here, I greet them at the desk naked. Yeah, you're fired. Aw, come on. Bring me on full time. Why can't that be us? Why can't I be that producer person? Come on. No! I don't think so. Booba! Oh, let's look at this painting over here. I heard that painting is actually titled AUVA. It's not called any of these things, Oda. Don't even get it. We've called it like, this is, I swear to God, at least like the 13th thing we've called it. Oda, don't you get it? Don't you get it? I'm pretty sure you called it something else the last time we were here. In like the previous game. Or at least two other things. Oda, you lying to me? I wonder if it has anything to do with A set. That's what you ask everything. You, you ask about everything. All right, Iba, look, a bug's in here. Mizuki, look! It's a Ceratocanthus! Yay! Go, Ceratocanthus! There's a lot of different bugs in the world. Isn't that right, Iris? Any information? I'm not an informant, you know. You should be. I know, but you're always on top of gossip and rumors. I just realized, she, so it's like her, yeah, she's got like a, like a full body suit thing going on. And then she's got like, I think stockings or pantyhose or something going up. And then, like I said, it didn't go all the way up in the other leg. It is interesting style here. It does look at least better than her previous one. Well, if that's what you're looking for, you got something? Remember when I told you about the video two days ago? The Nirvana trial, right? And that many people have gone missing after watching the video. Yeah, that. I heard there's something big going down. Something big? Well, recently, we've been hearing rumors from all over Japan. A bunch of people have started acting really weird. That is accurate. National news stations are beginning to report on this phenomenon. Well, what do you mean by acting weird? Like people who start dancing for no reason, smash glass windows in stores. Oh, they're trying to break out of the matrix. <laughs> wow, look at that one dude. That one guy looks like he's elbowing a, a uh, driver's side window of a moving car. Some people have been reported rolling up and down the streets or hitting their heads on light poles. Standing in the middle of an intersection for tens of hours. Running into a wall over and over and over again. And also people jumping. Yeah. Jumping off rooftops. And flying like birds. Are you saying this was all caused by the Nirvana trial? Yeah. Damn you adult swim. All those people started acting strangely after watching the video. Hi, but does that video have some kind of mind control effect? No, it does not. After all, you saw the video as well. It seems like the video only seems to affect like Ryuki too, right? And then I guess maybe these other people, like, like Ryuki, it, like, malfunctions when he sees it, right? But Mizuki, it doesn't seem to do anything to her. Good point. And I'm as normal as ever. Yeah. Like, what's up with that? All right, it's Iris, our top money maker. She's full of energy today. Look at her. Look how full of energy she is. Oda's here. And he's, the pastor is awful. Huh? Did you want to ask me something? Yeah, what? The bananas. Where can I, where can I buy a chocolate banana? Nope. Not at all. Oh, come on. Can't you ask me something like, why are you here? You're just waiting for Iris, aren't you? Yeah, you nailed it. Ha, <laughs> read me like a book. All right, now what? What track and field event do you like? 200 meter dash, 800 meter dash, 400 meter dash, 100 meter dash. I'm fucking 800. That's fucking brave, bro. Seriously, what the fuck? Which one of these, which one, which one would be crazy? I guess like the really random number? I, I don't know. Stupid Tamagotchi thing makes no sense. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Mizuki. I'm so tired. Stupid Oda with his stupid hair. Fuck it. Get a haircut. That's right. Mizuki gets it. Hey, look at this guy. Um. Stop. Do not interact with him. Why? Why not? I recognize him. He is a Kumakura. So we interact with Momo all the time. He's just a fucking weirdo. But there is something abnormal about him. What do you want? You got a problem? 
Look at his crazy eyes. No, I was just wondering what you were doing here. <laughs> what is Oda's face right now? Why am I here? Duh, yo monte. Oh, they say, yo mama. I am monte? Hit it in the head and you can hear the sound of civilization. Curry rice? School bag? Shishamo hell? Hey, wake up, old man Shamo. Old man Shamo. Old man Shamo. Old man Shamo. Gregory, Gregory. Greco Roman style. I think this is the example of the people who have been acting weird thing. Oh, he's crazy. I told you not to talk to him. Yeah. Gonna break out of the Matrix. He's gonna fly after this. Hey, about that guy. What's he doing here? I don't know. He was here when I got here. Apparently we have absolutely no security in this building, by the way. There's something wrong with him. Is he doing hard drugs or something? Yeah, yeah, he is. Shh, he'll hear you! Oh no, he's coming over. Told you. He's gonna pick up Oda and fucking eat him. You saw the video too? What? The Nirvana trial. Yeah. I did. Yeah. So you must have went there. Where? Let me just tell you this. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misatan. Okay. Later. Later, bro. Right on, brother. Fought the good fight. Glad nothing happened. Yeah, I thought I was actually getting ready to like leap out the window or something. I wonder if he saw the video too. I think the uh, I think there's a floor right there, so he probably just fallen flat on his face, but you know. Seems so. So the rumors were true. Watching the video makes you go crazy? Crazy pants! Yeah. I am curious about what he said. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misatot. But then again, calling him scatterbrained would be charitable. We probably do not need to put too much stock into what he said. Thinking about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Anyway, Iris and Ota, I'm going to get going. Okay, see ya! Good luck with the investigation! Shut up, Ota. Alright, let's go see Mama. This fucking weird ass. Hey, Mizuki, what are you here for? I'm investigating the HB case. Oh, by the way, this is actually from a couple episodes ago, but I was, I, I saw some of you guys brought up a while back about when I, when I brought up the, the voice thing around uh, Momo's neck, I was like, oh, that, maybe, maybe that's the thing that ha Dante wears to uh, change his voice uh, from, uh, you know, Wesker to Greg Chun. And some of you guys were like, well, Nico forgot all about the thing that we brought up before then. The Japanese side, they had the same voice there. No, I didn't forget. But I was thinking like, well, that, I mean, they technically introduced something into this universe that would explain that. So all I'm saying is, yeah, you, if, if you wanted to, you could look at it like, yeah, he probably maybe has one of those little voice things around his neck here, right? I just thought that was an interesting thing that they decided to uh, make uh, relevant to the main story. I mean, is it actually an explanation for it? Probably not. But at the very least, it gives me as a uh, as a player and a, uh, a viewer here, like, oh, well, okay, I guess th there is a way you can actually change your voice and modulate it in some way into someone completely different, right? I don't know if this technology is actually something we can actually do these days. Like, so, could you really make your voice sound like somebody else's? Is that technology possible? Is it possible to put that a device that can do that around your neck or in some way to actually do it? Like, I don't think so. I think some of this is pretty science fiction -y. I don't know if there's a way to actually do it and not make your voice sound like super robotic, right? I don't know. But anyway, that's all I was trying to say. I didn't forget the plot point. I was hoping to get some new information. Ah, uh, new info, huh? Oh. Momo. Hey, Mizuki. Does looking at that lantern give you ideas? Momo, I'm getting real tired of looking around your office, man. Give me ideas? Like, fear or something? No. Uh, oh. I, I see. <laughs> what? So, come on. All right. Funny whiteboard. What we got? 28th debate Tessa's future of course what about this thing see this paper with some general principles written on it it says first do not get angry when an update is required for playing a game but i can't help it just ignore the update like everybody else do re mi so far 
Everybody's got to do it. Everybody. I'm doing an impression of that famous third generation thief jumping into bed. Ah? What are you talking about, Mr. Tiger? Hacking. Hack the PC again. I am trying, but it may take a while. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We've hacked this computer like five times now and it's never got anything. Nothing but weird, creepy Tessa born. All right, Mola. What are you thinking about? Let me guess. Hey, everyone. Let me introduce my beautiful wife. Behold. It's Iris Sagan. Oh, honey. We're married now, so it's Iris Kumakura, isn't it? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Iris Kumakura, nice to meet you. I fell in love with Moma's masculine manliness, so I just had to marry him. Yes, yeah, Holy! Oh my God! Oh Jesus Christ! Holy shit! They did not. Oh my! Oh my God! Holy mother of God! That was so loud! Holy shit! I'm guessing Sai might have turned that down for you guys, but I cannot express to you how. Fucking insanely loud that part was. They basically overlapped a whole bunch of audio files and did not bother to go and fucking renormalize the audio around it. So it's just, believe it or not, yes, in audio, if you, if you take a whole bunch of audio files and overlap them like that, it will just be insanely loud unless you like adjust them. Mama's imagination is running wild. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, my ears. He might be going crazy too. Eh, whatever. What else? No, everybody's crazy in this town. Anyway, give me some information. Well, let's see. I don't know if this is related to the HB case, but at Iowin, the joint run by Richie Chieda, yeah. a long time ago, one of their kids went missing. I know. Well, which one? There's a rumor that Chikara Horadori had something to do with it. Yeah. You mean he kidnapped the child? Uru. I don't know. But I do know that Chikara's been doing shady shit for a while. Went around the country doing DNA examinations of children. I already know all that. Was all that sketchy research he was doing. Maybe he was using the kids as part of his research or something. Maybe combining bodies. Combining bodies? What do you mean combining? I don't know, like cutting two bodies in half right down the middle? And then you combine the left half of one with the right half of the other? Yeah. What? Hold on. Why would they do that? I don't know. No way of knowing what's going on inside some nut job's head. Well, that's not the first thing you jump to, Mama. Anyway, Chikara was supposed to be doing shit like that. That's definitely related to the HB case. Yeah, maybe. He's like, wait a minute. The case that you're investigating also has to do with bodies getting cut in half. Dude! It seems that Chikara really was attempting the experiment Mama described. That would explain the machines in the basement. And that weird somnium we had at the start of the game. And why there were two. <laughs> he was actually literally trying to do that. Damn. Damn, boy. Thanks, Mama. I think what you told me might turn out to be a big help. Especially the part where Iris got naked in your somnium. Nah, don't thank me. Instead of thanks, could you... Oh, here we go. Bring Tessa with you next time? I'll think about it. All right. I'm looking forward to it. By the way, Malakuma Kura, let me escape. Oh, that's Dokuta Yogano. He's a Tessa fan, too. Probably why he was at Lemniscate. He seemed kind of crazy pants. No, it didn't seem like that was why. But what do you mean? There was something wrong with him. He was acting strange. Oh, well, yeah, he's always like that. Don't worry about it. I mean, he is the kind of guy who'll bust out a Gatling gun and start shooting at the drop of a hat. What do you think I'm doing? I'm watching Tessa's new video. Fucking jerk it off! Grr! It's MoMA! Okay, bye! February 13th, Wednesday. MoMA Nuki Balls! Do 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 do! Do 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 do! Oh, Mizuki. Drinking early, I see. Oh, yeah, baby. I need to ride later, so I'm not drinking. Also, I'm underage. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, maybe I'm not. You're here to gather some intel, right? Yeah, but first, let's count the bottles. Let's count how many there are. Did you count the number of bottles? You must be really bored. Damn it. There's a suspicious book. This one says, In Search of Lost Tire Irons. 
Cool. Hey, uh, Mama, what should we watch today? Want to watch a video of a female praying mantis devouring a male? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah! I am kind of curious, but not now. Curse you, Mizuki. Damn you all! Well, let's post her back here. Damn it, we're still not talking about it. The one thing I want to talk about, we never talk about. I want dip shit. Oh, shit. I wonder if that dipshit has spent more nights sleeping on this than the couch. Dip shit. Oh, Date. Of course. Yeah, too bad he's dead. What's on the menu? What is Caprese? You'll know tomorrow. Tomorrow? It's Valentine's Day, right? Caprese is like a. It's like basically like toasted bread with cheese and like tomato and like uh, oregano or something like thrown on top of it. It's really good. We used to have it at a place I used to, I worked at. It's a salad, not a portmanteau of couples are crazy. I feel like I've explained this before. Wait, is it? It's a salad? Hold on a second. I don't I believe that. Caprese. Denoting a salad of fresh mozzarella, tomato, and basil. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, but it, it's, it is, it's... I thought there was actually bread with it. Actually, I think it's it's actually caprese something else that I was thinking of. That it's literally, yeah, it's got basil, tomatoes, and mozzarella, but it's on a piece of bread. This is actually literally just that without the bread, which is not really, doesn't really look like a salad to me. I think it'd be a lot lettuce, but I guess not all salads need lettuce. Matchka balls, baby. All right, mama, show me the way again, but first. Here's a question. If you get it, I'll buy you a drink. I know you're in my brain, Mizuki. What's something that hangs down the middle of a man? My dick. They come in different shapes and sizes, too. My dick. My dick. A necktie? <laughs> I was talking about wieners. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like that one simply because it was so on the nose and he's just like, you know what? No, this is just a funny pun or some like, oh, of course, I'm referring to the... No, I'm talking about dick, silly. <laughs> I was kind of happy to just see. Yes, no, I actually was, in fact, just talking about the thing you're thinking about. Anyway, about the crystal balls. What about them? Oh, nothing important. Crystal is just kind of meaningful to me. How so? That's what I was named after. Crystal and kanji can be read as Mizuki. Ah. That's what Daddy told me a long time ago. That's beautiful. I think it fits you perfectly. Though, I guess it wasn't his idea. Horidori Institute, huh? Oh, I remember. You know that they were closed down once, about 15 years ago, right? Yeah. The underground was abuzz with rumors about them doing some sketchy research. Rumor is, the one who leaked the story was Richi Chieda. What? Mr. Chieda? Richi Chieda is a major stakeholder at Horidori Institute. He must have had plenty of opportunities to gather insider info. He's the chairman of an orphanage, you know. He really does love children, so maybe he decided he couldn't turn a blind eye. Didn't fucking stop Jakara from opening it back up and doing some more shit. Well, that's interesting. HBKs. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything for you. Ask the balls! If anything, I want some answers from you. No, ask your balls. About what? Well, about Jin's left half being found at the stadium three days ago. Oh, I can't tell you anything about that. Could his body have traveled through time? I don't know, maybe. That's impossible. Parallel worlds are real, as we all know. I didn't tell her about the one-wheeled robot. Would it take a while to explain? There's something fishy about that stadium. Maybe there's some strange device hidden there. Think about it. They've been doing construction there for half a year. They said something about some issues with the structure. Maybe that's just a cover-up, and they're really working on something else. Like what? Like a time portal to teleport Jin's left half from six years ago. It feels like Mama has changed ever since she started telling fortunes. I don't remember her talking about occult stuff like that before. Hmm. Speaking out with Iris too much. I watch too much Adult Swim. Thanks, Mama. If anything comes up, be sure to tell me. You're welcome. Uh, by the way, Mizuki, any boyfriends? Uh, that came out of nowhere. 
I was just hoping for an introduction is all. Uh, unfortunately not right now. Not right now? I go to an all-girls school. Finding a boyfriend there would be pretty difficult, wouldn't it? Okay, okay. I should have gone to college. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Come back soon. <laughs> that was a funny line. And next time, get a ride from someone. I should have gone to college. I told you I'm not drinking. But I'm going to start drinking after all these conversations. I tell you what. All right, back to divide it. Tara's going to be hiding behind that panel again. Hello there. I'm back. I just felt like hiding here again for some reason. On that day six years ago, Shoma's father was found here. Indeed, but only his right side. What are you showing me? It is an image that was stored on the investigation database. I was not physically present. Not that it would have made a difference. I lost all memory from that incident six years ago. So, what do you want to do here? Well, I kind of just wanted to retrace the investigation steps. Hmm? Am I that mesmerizing? Hmm. I suppose you just cannot help yourself. I am the cutest thing in the world. I'm cuter. Is something wrong with your eyes? Oh, self-deprecating now? <laughs> About the body. Komiji's estimated time of death was February 13th, 2200. The cause of death is obvious. Komiji was kidnapped here and taken underground at Horidori Institute. Indeed. Komeji's right half was found February 13th, six years ago. It was discovered by Ryuki, Amame, Iris, Shoma, and Kizuna. Ryuki came here with Komeji in an attempt to contact Terror. He was attacked and rendered unconscious, which also disabled Tama. I wonder if it was Terror that attacked him. That is the most likely possibility. While Ryuki was unconscious, the other four individuals entered. And Komeji's right side was found. Anyway, why are you curious about this? Well, I'm done here. Let's get going. What? Okay, but also, what, am I, what should I do if I saw a UFO? Wave. That's crazy. All right, to the shrine. All right, 1750. I continued my investigation with Aiba, but I couldn't find any more leads. I headed here to Akume Shrine to go over the information we gathered so far. But as soon as I got here, a suspicious group of people caught my eye, my attention. Oh shit, ninjas! Yes, the hands! Time to fight! Uh, they're nice! Specifically, the armed group that went into hiding. Thank god, it... Yeah, they really make it seem like the city's huge, but in reality, there's only like five places for people to actually go to. <laughs> actually, no, my, I'm sorry, like 14 places to go to. A lot, but you know, I mean, clearly, because otherwise they wouldn't be here at the Akume Shrine. What are they doing here? Why don't you interrogate them? How about I beat them all up? I don't think they're just going to answer me. In that case. We haven't had a good action scene in a while, all right? All right, let's do it. Wink sink. Bombs! <laughs> I'm looking forward to the rehearsal tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Rocket with TC Purge and the Warhead. Ah, uh, yeah, I think TC Pur TC Purge is what's making uh, I think the people act crazy. That's what I'm that's what I'm starting to think at least. We shoot this up and <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny. TC Purge? Terror wrote about the same thing. The one thing I needed was being created in this very facility, TC Purge. It's a wonderful virus. If it's implemented into a rocket, it would cause TC Purge to spread. Airborne. But where are they going to shoot off a rocket? Likely not around here. I searched the area with X-ray, but I did not find anything of that nature. Then... Time to stop them. Hello. Hey, excuse me. What do you want? I want to ask you something. 
Where's the rocket at? Uh. Could you be less subtle? You are supposed to be a detective. I feel like beating somebody up. Come on. All right, here we go. Showtime. How do you know about it? <sighs> Who cares how? Yeah, because now that you know... Wait, hold on. Are we gonna fight? Just so you know, I'm really strong. When I was in elementary school, I kicked down a tree. Wait a minute. I've seen you before. Yep, that's me. We fought at the cathedral six years ago, right? So you do remember. Anyway, you and your goon should really back off. I've only gotten stronger since that day. <laughs> You're just one little girl. And now that you know our secret, we can't just let you leave. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, here we go. <sighs> Fine. All right, bring it on. Show me your power. You should take us more seriously. Let's go. You should take us more seriously. <laughs> I tripped over you. Oh, God. Oh, oh barefoot girl. Are you okay? Uh, you? We'll talk later. Let's handle them first. Okay, let's go. Uh, 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 Hiya. Nice. Strike. Iba, allow me to assist. Burr, 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 Oh. Hmm. I know exactly what to do in this moment. Oh, we keep leaping over each other. this soon we can't waste any more time here yeah, screw it let's just get out of here the reunion hey you're going nowhere what happened are you okay it's fine it'll pass don't worry about me go after them uh what they're gone damn move fast damn. Island Garden, February 13th, 1945, Wednesday. Why didn't you chase after them? You should have just left me. No, I couldn't do that. Anyway, why come here? The fun comfort here. I was raised at Island. Hmm? What? You know what? At this point, I'm just gonna assume there's nothing here. You were raised here? Yes. I spent a few years of my youth here. Ah! A few years of your youth. Ah, uh, you were totally, you were totally accusing those big sis. But I wasn't here 24 hours a day. For a few days out of the week. They had me at a research facility. You mean? Yeah. Oradori Institute. But well, one day they went out of commission. I never went back. How long were you at Iowan? The children here ultimately got adopted. But unfortunately, I didn't. Oh, wait, what? Do you know why? I'm blind in one eye. And you saw the condition of my heart earlier. Frail children aren't really in high demand. Eh, okay, never mind. But you did get adopted, right? Yeah. Oh. When I was 15. No, there we go. There we go now. Okay. It makes it sound like you didn't get adopted. 
Long story short, a lot happened, and I decided to live my new life with my adopted family. So you were here until you were 15? No. I was only here till I was 9. From the ages of 9 to 15, I was raised by a different family. I really got along with my new sibling. Looking back at it, those six years were the most peaceful of my life. Six years? I told you that I'm investigating the genome research, right? Yeah, you did. You said, I want to know who did this to me. I was a subject of their experiments. I guess you can call me a designer baby. Baby. I don't even know my real parents. I was the result of artificial insemination and genome manipulation. Mm. But because of that, my physical abilities exceed that of a regular human. Hey, me too! I hear it's a side effect of eternal youth and life. Not that I'm grateful for it. Just like me. The price I had to pay was too high. I was born with a blind left eye and heart issues. I was told I wouldn't last long. I see. Hey, we're finding some information from you. Um, thank you for sharing that with me. Yeah, you know, you were far enough in the game. I decided we can find. I can finally tell you all about this. Why did you suddenly decide to tell me? I felt like it. <laughs> you felt like it? Then can you tell me more? No. Why not? I've talked enough about me. Enough? But there's still so many questions. Why did you help me? Who even are you? I don't want you to get involved. I mean, kind of late for that. What do you mean by that? Why are you so protective of me? <sighs> are you having another seizure? It's from the fight earlier. It's not a big deal. I just need to rest a little bit. Dead. She's out. Perfect. Why not take her to Abyss HQ and uh, sink into her? Finally. What? What are you talking about? She has a bad heart. What if she dies? Calm down, Mizuki. She's unconscious, but her vital signs are stable. If we are careful with her, there will not be any issues. And hey, we don't even need to use the chloroform this time. Are you sure? I can guarantee there is no danger in sinking with her. Fine. Let's go. All right. February 13th, Wednesday, 2130. No pooter here. She still has her mask on. There is nothing we can do. It is attached with NASA grade adhesive. I can still sink into her, right? Of course. As long as there are holes for her eyes. But shouldn't you be worried about something else? What do you mean? Boss. You know sinking without permission is prohibited. If she finds out, she'll make you shave your head. I don't have a choice! Not my fault she's out in Kabuki Cho drinking margaritas! Seems like she took Pewter with her too. Yeah, whatever. Jeez, what are those two thinking? We still have to solve the HB case. A new philosophy behind government work, I suppose. They prioritize saving work for themselves over apprehending criminals. That sucks. I agree. Shall I give you the usual warning? Skip it. As you wish. Let's get started. Let's do it. This will be an interesting one. That's freaky. This place is... What? What is this? Aiba, you okay? Mizuki, what is happening here? I don't know. The sink started and it was like this. What is going on? Can you move? No. I cannot remove the restraints. I saw Chikara earlier. 
Is this his doing? Ooh. Another day of these examinations. I don't want my bones broken again. Examinations? Broken bones? The vice. We need to get out of here. Ah! Somnium stand! Activate! From within this thing, oh god. Uh, mental lock one. Two. Is it backwards? Three. Four. Five. I had a feeling it's going to be a five one. Find the secret hidden in the nightmare. The master woman is trapped in a nightmare. If she can escape her trauma, the truth will be revealed. Uh, my arm! You gotta force it! Ah! Freedom! Well, that was easy. Stop the nurse nerve gas experiments. <sighs> that was close. What's with this dream? <sighs> no fractures today. She's holding her wrist. The same spot as you, Iba. In this Somnium, we play her part. Mm. These aren't exams. These are just human experiments. Nothing more than a tortured lab rat. No. No. I have to get out of here. So they call this examinations. Oh boy. Huh? What now? What are you doing? Stay right there. Coming. We need to hide. He? Chikara? Aiba, you should hide. But where? Um, let's find something. She wanted to blank. She laments what she blank able to do. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, f I can't even pause it, dude. Did I make it in time? Ugh. What is that? It's gross. Zombie Chikara. Wow, it is quite psychedelic. Well, well, well. She's not here. Where are you hiding? Here? Not here. Where are you? It's dark. I can't see a thing. Why are you running from me? All I want to do is break your bones. It's an important test. We can discover how quickly you can heal. Jesus. That's terrible. <laughs> Let's use this whole room. Fucking walk. Oh, he's gone. Oh boy. Is that smoke? No. I can't take any more of this. Smoke. Nerve gas. That's not good. Use that for experiments? It appears that way. We need to stop the device. Hordori found the, the hiding children took them. They were subjects to cruel experiments and made them pass out. Okay, can I hang out for a second? I think I can. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. 
I was like, I want to end the video the moment we like started the Somnium, but it just kept going <laughs> and I couldn't pause and do anything. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a hefty one, I think. All right, guys, I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. I think we're fine as long as we don't move. Oh, hey, there's an eyeball right there. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already become Picky Penguin. I'll board the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.